Hey, hey, my friend, happy Friday. Emily Smiley here. Welcome, fun Friday, follow-up Friday. Um, I've got a great life for you guys today. So my question to you for your business today is, how are you doing with engagement? On your personal page, on your business page, in your Facebook groups, wherever it might be, whatever platform you might have, how's that engagement going for your business? Because that is vital right, to the quality of your business and your interactions and building online. So um, I'm excited to delve into this. If you're watching, let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you're watching this on the replay, let me know, hashtag replay. I'd love to get back to you um, and just uh, check in with you, see, see how's, it, how's it going. All right, so I've got three simple hacks today that I'm super excited, short, sweet, to the point, get in that weekend mode. That's why I titled it Fun Friday. I'm already in weekend mode here, got my workout in, headed to the, out to the pool, but wanted to really share and drop some value in here for you guys because no one told me this, right? Everybody just says post, but they don't necessarily say what to post, right? And so... Um, today, the hacks that I want to get into is the different types of posts that you should be posting because let me know if you're guilty of this or if you've seen someone, perhaps it's guilty of this. So, you know, maybe you haven't been, um, you know, consistent on, on your, on your page or your business page or your whatever. And, um, you know, all of a sudden you see someone pop on and then it's business, 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 right? And that's all that it is or it's pitch, 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 right? Or maybe it's quote, 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 quote. Like it's all one dimensional. It's all one topic. And I made that mistake when I first started. It was just throw a post up there, really not make it a value. Um, it was just important to get seen. And I really didn't think about the people that were looking at it. It was a lot of like my own team commenting on it, not necessarily the prospects that I wanted to get seen. So before I get into the three that you should be posting, make sure that when you get on Instagram, that you get on Facebook, whatever platform that it is that you're building and um, engaging on, you know, make sure even if you just set a timer for like five or 10 minutes, go into those prospects or those people and then you just comment on some other stuff, especially on Instagram. So when you are posting, instead of just throwing that up there, right, your motivational quote for the day, okay, check that off my list, I like posted for the day, or um, oh, we have a sale in our company, so I put up that product post, right? You wanna put a little bit more thought into it, and you wanna really get intentional in, in it. Because when you do, that engagement is really going to pick up, and it's so cool, right? How many of you have had you know, that one of those posts that just blow up, you know, you've got 161 comments on it or, um, you know, you get 50 likes in like five minutes, right? It's so cool when you see that because people are tend to comment on it. So the first thing I would say is make sure you're mixing it up, right? Because you want to give people a reason to follow you. If you're only business all the time, as helpful as that is, it's going to get boring because only when they're in that mood or mode, are they going to want to follow you? Same thing on your, you know, product or whatever. Um, you know, if you're only posting cat memes, like why would someone follow you, right? It's not really going to move your business or progress it forward. That being said, stay with me because the second one is, or I think it's second or third, um, looking at my notes. It is is key, like money key, so stay with me. All right, so the first one is one of my favorites. It's motivational, inspirational, right? People will follow you if you they feel like you're motivational, inspirational. I love quotes, like I freaking love quotes. It's on my highlights, I save them, I love them, they inspire me. Um, I literally like have an old school like book of quotes. I just love, love quotes. And, and ironically, when people describe me, they're like, oh, motivational, inspirational, why? Because that's what I like posting. That being said, if you're posting that, you know, I would save it for stories. Why? Because publicly everyone can see it, right? Everyone can kind of comment on it, love it, whatever. And then when they do, it goes right to your inbox. If it is on your main page, right? Whatever page that may be, may be personal, private, um, I mean, fan page, public, whatever. If you're going to post, you know, a motivational, inspirational, I would just add a little blurb about, you know, love this, maybe why, why it spoke to you, something that puts your own 
brand, your own personality behind what it means. So take it a little bit deeper. Does that make sense? Because anybody can throw up a post that's inspirational or motivational or whatever. It's when you take the time to delve into it and go, wow, I really hadn't thought about it that way. Or, oh, this was a good you know, idea here. Um, so definitely make sure that you're putting those in there because you know you want to be adding value and you want people to be motivated and inspired, right? So the second one, if you're really trying to build up specifically for engagement, you need an engagement post. Now, it's funny because you see these more and more and more, right? People asking questions. Why? Well, because when people comment, right, which is what we're wanting, and they're commenting something different, which is what Facebook is looking for, then not only does it stir that algorithm up, but it gives you like all of these people and it starts the algorithm all over again. So I think, you know, you just have to have that right combination of not posting too many of them, right? At least maybe one a week, I would say. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, but pe something people don't really have to think about. Um, I've seen fill in the blanks, but unless the fill in the blank is pretty straightforward, simple, personally, I haven't gotten a lot of feedback on fill in the blank. But people love A, B, C, D. Which of these, right? A, B, C, D. And it's so funny because even though you see those everywhere else or you know, maybe you've taken it from somebody else, right? We've all done that. We're like, oh, I like that one. I'm going to use that one for engagement. But be different. Be as different as you possibly can. I don't know if y'all saw the one that was like, how do you like your coffee? And it was like this circle of like coffee colors and all you had to do was like put the number. I think I had like 100, almost 200 uh, people comment. Why? Because it didn't take much thought, but everyone wants to give their opinion. So something that people give their opinion over, for whatever reason, it really helps. And that can work on a Facebook fan page, it can work on Instagram, it can work on your personal page, it can work on your business or fan page, um, wherever it is that you're really wanting to get that engagement. And my suggestion is that if it is like a business um, page with a specific audience, ask a specific question that would be relevant to that audience. So let's say for instance, you're a realtor and your business page is that, or you know, maybe put, hey, which type, because uh, I've seen this, which type of house would you would you like? And it was like A, B, C, or D, like mountains, beach, lake, or farm, or something like that. And everybody comments on it. That would be relevant to your audience. If you were in um, skincare, you know, maybe you put like, uh, you know, what's your one, one must have, right? Like mascara, lipstick, I don't even know what else. Clearly that's not my area. Um, if you were in, um, let's see, travel, right? Travel, you might put, uh, which of these, you know, could I do without? Or which of these I, do I need to take? And you could have it that way, right? Just be creative and try to get outside of the normal box. Don't just copy and paste everybody's. Make it relevant to you because if you ask a question that's relevant to your audience, you can then turn around and give value back to them. Hey, I saw that everybody liked, you know, lips. So today I'm going to be talking about my lipstick or whatever, right? And then you're giving value that way. Or, hey, I saw that everyone's number one struggle is, you know, finding new prospects to talk to. So today I'm going to talk about that topic, right? Does that make sense? Um, and then another one would be lifestyle. Let people see behind the scenes. Now, this is where if you're in Instagram stories and Facebook, link both of those so you only have to post it once and chalk it full. Behind the scenes, lifestyle, you know, don't think in your head, don't get too much in your head going, well, nobody's going to want to know this. They do. For whatever reason, people are snoopy, curious, nosy, um, just want to know, right? And so that's why we get on social media to see what the heck everybody is up to. So make it interesting. If it's nothing but product, 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 I know that that's where people, if you have not seen uh, the training that I did on Facebook stories, please go watch it or drop it in the below. Just say, you know, Facebook stories and I'll send it to you. It, it really is a game changer because the public can see that. So not people on your page or your personal page, but everybody, everybody, the people that you are already connected with and not. So it's super, super helpful when you're thinking of lifestyle to really give them a chance to get to know you, right? Give them a chance to see, you know, your family. Give them a chance to see, you know, where you're at. And you might think, well, nobody's going to want to see pictures of my garden, but they will. And you're going to attract people, right, using that attraction marketing that are most like you. So if, so for me, you know, I post a lot of pictures of my kids. 
So guess who I'm probably going to most likely attract, right? Other mompreneurs. And so that's what I want because we both have the same relevant thing. So your lifestyle is going to then in turn attract similar or your ideal prospect. So in doing that, let people get to know you because when you do those little video clips or lives or Facebook stories or lifestyle pics, like, hey, this is what we're up to today. And you share it with a broader audience, not just on your personal, but on your, you know, in your Facebook group or in, you know, in your Insta stories or, you know, wherever it is, people feel like they get to know, like, and trust you. And those are people that are going to want to do business with you because they feel like they already do. Does that make sense? And then the last one feeds from that lifestyle into funny. People love funny. Funny is money. You would follow someone. If you look at like a lot of the um, influencers or Instagram or, you know, people that just have a lot of followers, most of the time it's entertainment because people get on social media not to be sold to, not to be pitched to. Maybe they get on for your training. Maybe they don't. But they like to laugh. And there's so many serious things going on in the world right now. So every Friday, at least on my on my personal, I post a funny Friday. And I'm like, hey, we need to lighten it up. And all I do is keep all the funnies that I see throughout the week. And there are some. And every Friday, I post on there. And every Friday, somebody says, I look forward to these every single Friday. Guess what? They're going to come back. They're going to follow me. They're going to comment. Right? They're going to build my engagement. They're going to like me because they're laughing. They're building that know, like, and trust. And it's consistent. So they know every Friday there's going to be something funny. So what can you do consistently, right, that maybe has something to do with you? Maybe you do something similar. Maybe you just do, like, there's a lot of people. I know that the whole TikTok thing is, like, crazy now in, in debating about whether we should keep it or not. But what does it do? It let people be funny. It let people see a different side, right? And people like that. So I'm telling you, funny is totally money. But whatever it is, mix in your business, of course, with that, right? Make sure you're sharing the benefits, not the product. You almost never should be showing pictures of the product. They want to see you. They want to see what it does. If you do before and after pictures, if you're in health and wellness or weight loss or something like that, you know, be posting those. But for the most part, you want to say, man, I feel amazing. Or now I've been able to do this. Like, right, you're sharing the benefit of what it is, the benefit of your business, the benefit of building online, right? The benefit of having time freedom or financial freedom or whatever it is. You're just sharing the benefit. Pick one thing. Don't have this huge umbrella and it's not about the products because people will not follow that. That's not fun at all, right? And if you look at how effective is that, now, I would say you can chalk those in your stories and mix them in there, but you don't want it to be all business all the time, right? So, I hope that was helpful for you guys. That's all I've got for you today. Um, so, just to recap for you, you know, make sure that you're mixing up where, you know, you're po what you're posting and where you're posting. Um, make sure it's not one-dimensional. Mix in some motivational, some inspirational, build up your engagement, ask questions, fill in the blank, this or that, or what is this, or which is better. Um, make sure you're putting those lifestyle uh, pictures in there. Let people get to know, like, and trust you. Do video, do your Facebook stories, you know, throw your business, your training, your benefits of your products, not your products, right? And let people get to know, like, and trust you and be yourself. Be funny, post funny, be funny, be quirky, be goofy, be yourself. Let them see the imperfect because people will absolutely follow that, right? How many of us love the bloopers almost better than the regular reel? Why? Because funny is money. All right, you guys, I hope that was super helpful. Keep talking those stories, keep building those business. Let me know if there's something specific that you would like me to share on. Otherwise, I will see you guys for um, Made for More Monday and you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, if this video was helpful, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Give me some love, like, comment, share. Share this with someone if you feel like they've been maybe struggling with their engagement or their team. Um, you know, let them know to focus on these. All right, you guys. Have a great weekend. See you soon.